All right, well, you know, kids used to play outside all the time, and we kind of brought it indoors, and there may have been some unintended consequences of that, other than just uh, not being as physically fit as before. Cindy Hess, Becky Paradise are here today with something called Action-Based Learning. It's going on in the schools right now. You might have heard of it, uh, but if you haven't, let's get you educated here and uh, get everybody involved in this. Is it just more exercise in the schools and, and getting the kids up and moving, or is it more targeted? I would say it's more targeted. It's definitely movement with intention. What we're trying to do is use recent brain research and show that children do make better learners. They're healthier if they're active, and the movement with intention is directed at helping with developmental gaps that the children may have in their learning. And so if a child is unable to cross their midline, they're not able to crawl bilaterally, we develop that skill, and that helps them with reading, being able to follow letters on the page and things like that. Now, you've been doing this in, in how many schools here for the last three years in we, San Diego? We have what's called action-based learning labs in about 32 of our schools here in San Diego Unified. We have a couple middle schools, and then most of them are elementary schools. The action-based learning labs are really directed right now at, at early the early years, the kindergarten, first, and second right. graders. Preschoolers, our special ed students use them as well. And um, they're a series of developmental activities that change, so we'll change them maybe once a month. And like Cindy said, they're filling in those developmental gaps, and, and classroom teachers can take their kids through those and provide that activity, and they infuse the academics as well. So we're finding that kids learn better that well, way. Well, I want to talk to you about the results first, but I, I need an example here, okay? Yeah. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's not just going out and playing dodgeball or, not you know, a kickball or something <laughs> like that. It's exactly it's, the it's, opposite it's, of that. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. very structured, very yeah. specific, but the kids seem to love it. So give, you've got any one example you want to show me here? Yeah, we've got, some, we've got some things here. One of the things that we do is we infuse a lot of balance activities, because when you take a kid and put them on a balance board, it changes a lot of things. It kicks in their vestibular system. And they're, they're using different parts of their brain, different parts of their body, their core muscles to, to concentrate on balancing. So this is called a Spooner Board. It's actually okay. created and made here in San Diego, um, sold all over the nation, though. And they're, they're really used for um, kids do skateboard type things and snowmobile or, or snowboarding type things on them. But we use them for balance boards, well, too. Well, throw it down there. So Let's yeah, give, so give it a shot. So you want to try it? Sure. Put okay, right, so right in here somewhere. All right. You're going to stand on there. Okay. No problem. And then we're going to do a little bit of math today. Okay. Well, you just kind of get your balance. Oh, so while I'm doing sure. this. Okay. So okay. I'm going to toss you a ball. Okay. It's got numbers on it. Right. You're just going to catch it. Your thumbs are going to land on some of those numbers. They are. They so landed gonna... on four and three. Seven. Seven. Okay. This did you ask me to add those, or I, did I assume? That was good. That was good. Because see, that was good for a first grader. But now you're going to be a fourth grader. Okay. Multiply them this time. Multiply them. One times two. Ah, two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was easy. Okay. We'll do it over here a little bit. Make you think what, a little bit uh, on that side of your brain. Oh, what is that? Is that a nine or a six? A nine times three, uh, 27. All right. Good. You're good. We'll try it from the other side. Okay. And uh, 11 times 99. All 11 right. and 9. Good. Okay. We're going to keep you on that balance thing. We're going to have you um, just toss and catch this up in the air. Now, One now, hand. Now, this is, this is actually activating certain parts of the brain that yes. might not be activated if I was just sitting in a chair in a classroom. Right. And by standing up, you initially earn, you learn 10% better just by standing just up. Just by standing up. Just so maybe we're up. making a mistake keeping our kids seated in school all the time. Well, there's, uh, uh, Dr. John Medina feels that if you were going to create a room that was the least receptive to learning, it would be a classroom. Interesting. Because blood flow to the brain is stopped when you sit in a chair. So many of the schools in San Diego, the children have the option to sit on an exercise ball. So they're moving back and forth and focusing their core, which in, then focuses the brain. And again, folks, I really want to emphasize that the, the scientific research backs this up. And, and as you guys were telling me, they can look at brain scans while this activity Live. is going on yes. and yes. see what areas of the brain are being stimulated by what activity and know that if that's the center that's good with math then that's maybe the area that uh, we want to stimulate. Right. Okay, I'm standing here I'm sitting here with two bean bags right now. Uh, okay. I'm assuming that isn't all of this. Yeah, just toss one up in the air and catch it. Okay, toss one up in the air, catch it. Up okay. in the air, catch it. So then toss the other one up. Up in the air, catch it. So maybe you toss one up and you flip it to the other Let me side. Have the other one. <laughs> You're going to juggle. juggle. I'm going to try it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I was going to try it. Where'd that bean bag go? Now, the thing you want to <laughs> do, this though... This is very entertaining for folks at home to watch me drop the bean bags. Oh, well. Here. What you need to do, though, is you have to be we'll able to do the skill you. first standing, standing oh, without standing the first. balance okay, because so. the balance, you can see how the balance makes it harder. We'll make it easier for you. The, okay. This is how we slow it down for kids. Okay. There we go. And what you want to do is you want to cross your midline because that's forming the pathway. And then, uh, there you don't toss like it under, toss it over. Yes. Okay. So All you're right. going over and back. 
But do you feel how hard you're working to balance and no, you're I'm using too much muscles? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what, and that's what the kids you know, say. That's what the kids say. And I, I know a little bit about this only because uh, I'm familiar with a guy who, whose name I, I cannot divulge in town because he does this uh, very privately with professional athletes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he uses these principles with professional athletes, folks. I've seen it in action. Uh, there are guys right now in the NBA, the NFL, uh, all over the place, as a matter of fact, and in Major League Baseball that are using the techniques that you're talking about in order to be better athletes. But imagine if yes. we can use this for better, uh, better students. Yeah. And that's what this is. It affects everyone who has a brain. Action-based learning. Now, folks, uh, that you, what you need to do is you need to go to your school and you need to ask about this and inquire about this. And if you think that your child might benefit from that, then you need to find where one of these uh, action learning labs are located and get involved. And we don't just do them in the labs. We infuse these strategies into classrooms all the time because a kid can take a movement break anytime. They can stand at their desk. They can do juggle a couple of scarves. Well, I'm going to go back and work on my juggling. Because <laughs> <All right>. your <laughs> brain literally falls asleep every 17 minutes. <laughs> and with, with some of us, maybe more often yeah. than that. But, so you want to get up and segment. get moving. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Pleasure to see you. Uh, Cindy Hess, Becky Paradise, Action-Based Learning. Okay, for more information, go to sandiego6.com, click on San Diego Living.